guys, my name is Darren Ford. I am an Irish wedding for photographer and it's Friday, not a great start. It's Friday again, so I'm back with you with another few quick tips on how to get the most from your wedding photography. Here's one us photographers get asked about all the time. How do you handle other guests or you know your favorite uncle Jimmy with his camera at the wedding? You know, everybody wants to take a picture at a wedding. Everybody has their phones out or their iPads out. How do you deal with it as a photographer? How do I deal with it as a photographer? And how do you deal with it um, as the host of the event? <laughs> I'm, I'm busy, I'm doing a video. I'll be out in five minutes, okay? This is five minute tips. Just takes five minutes, okay? I get asked this a lot in my pre-wedding meetings um, and personally I don't have a problem with anyone else taking pictures in the day as long as it's not too invasive and there's a bit of common sense used. The one time where it can get a little bit tricky um, is as you're walking up the aisle a lot of guests love to get that picture as well and as photographers we're more than likely um, positioned right at the top of the aisle but a lot of guests will use their phones or their iPads to get a picture of you as you're walking up the aisle and where it becomes an issue is if they stick their phones or iPads out into the aisle to get the picture of you or even if they step out um, they can get in the way of our pictures. Sometimes as photographers we'll just politely ask them just to stay in their in their in their in their rows uh, so they don't uh, interfere or get in the way of that picture. Now you may not have any problem with your guests uh, taking pictures of you or, or even themselves uh, at the wedding and most people don't to be fair um, but you might not want those pictures uploaded to social media like Facebook or Instagram or you know whatever it may be and I personally think that you know you're well within your rights to request that um, in this day and age I think it's you know uh, it's quite current in fact not to have um, or to request maybe that certain pictures don't go up on social media but here's the thing it's very difficult to have a, like a blanket ban on people taking pictures and uploading them to social media because you know people love to take pictures of themselves and you know with their friends when they're all dolled up and dressed up in their finery at weddings especially if it's a sunny day like today so the question then becomes not how do you stop people taking pictures but how do you politely ask them in a way that doesn't offend anyone not to upload those pictures to social media if that's what you prefer now the first thing to realize is that you're not alone. I can tell you that, in fact, it's quite it's becoming quite the norm these days that you politely request uh, that guests don't upload pictures, especially of yourselves, the bride and groom, to social media. Now it's not everybody has this request, to be fair. Some people don't mind in the slightest, um, but some people would prefer if you just didn't upload their pictures, pictures of the bride and groom to Facebook on the day itself. If you were paying a lot of money for a professional photographer to take you know, beautiful pictures of your wedding event and gorgeous portraits of you guys on the day, you wanna make sure that those pictures are the ones that get uploaded um, you know, and, and put online um, for everybody to see. So, what do you do? Firstly, personally, I think it's very difficult not to ask guests to uh, not to share pictures on social media on the day, you know, there's kind of two tiers to this, you know, accepting that guests will want to take pictures on the day of you, of themselves, of them and their friends, things like that, you know, is you can't really ask them not to take pictures. However, you, you may well be able to ask them not to share those pictures to social media. Putting a blanket ban on sharing any pictures is, is just a non-runner really, because there'll always be somebody who will share pictures, uh, whether you like it or not. So my best advice is that you know you politely request by way of you know maybe a sign at the entrance to the church and I'll put one up on the screen now so you can see an example uh, something we come across quite often um, that you know your photographer uh, takes beautiful pictures and you would like to share those ones online so please don't share pictures of the bride and groom thank you very much um, and just let guests off to share pictures of themselves and things like that um, another thing that's becoming very popular these days and I'm seeing more and more often are these wedding apps that you can send a link to to your guests. Now they're great for things like sharing directions to the to the church or the hotel or 
any of the different venues on the day. Um, they're also great for RSVPing and sharing any other sort of information like that that the guests may need. Uh, and that's another way that you, you might want to share some information like uh, the fact that you might want your pictures or pictures of yourself shared on social media. Now, if you don't really mind pictures of yourselves going up on social media, and that's perfectly acceptable too, by the way, then uh, there's a couple of great ways to kind of gather all the pictures that have been shared or, or, or taken by guests on the day, as well as the pictures from your professional photographer. There is, uh, obviously there's the ubiquitous now almost hashtag, where you create a little hashtag of your event, um, and people will tag the pictures that they take on their phone, uh, and share on social media with that hashtag. You'll then be able to do a search for that hashtag, post event and gather all those pictures together. You can do this on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Snapchat also uh, allow you to set up a, a geo filter for your event, which will tag all your images uh, by location uh, and also allow you to do those lovely overlays that they do. Um, now it's great to gather up those images afterwards and make a, a lovely little book or something out of them. It's a great way to complement the guest book. Another thing that's making a big comeback uh, these days, and I see it more and more often at uh, weddings that I do, is the good old Polaroid. And you can get these in a number of different formats. Fuji make a, a very good one that's uh, not very expensive. Um, this particular one is a Polaroid, it's a replica of the original Polaroid. Get one of these and get a couple of cartridges and uh, place them on a table at your event and allow your guests to pick them up, um, take a couple of pictures with them, have a little post box and let the guests put the pictures uh, into the box and you get a load of pictures from the event. That, uh, of things that you didn't even know were happening. Uh, to look back on afterwards and they're great you can make a little wall out of them you can put them all in a frame you can make a little montage out of them really nice thing and uh, you know they're very very popular at weddings these days the guests love to walk around and um, take pictures with these now that's kind of it but finally i guess uh, to summarize you could say that yeah if you have a problem with people putting pictures of your event on social media then you can politely request that they don't in, uh, in a few different ways. I personally don't have a problem with um, anyone shadowing me on the day. Um, I like to roll people in and get them involved if I can. Some photographers are allergic to that completely, but you know, I, I don't have a problem with it. You could also explain to your guests that your photographer is going to share a couple of pictures with you very soon after the wedding. In my case, I provide a set of highlight images to all my couples a few days after the wedding and these are perfect. I do it by way of a little app on your phone. So you can you get a link and you download the app on your phone. You can browse through, you know, 40 or 50 images. So little highlight images from, from different parts of the day. And these are great for sharing online sharing with friends and family you can share the link to the app with family and friends and they can also download it and have them on their phone and these pictures are perfect for you to share on your own personal social media accounts if you want to uh, only share the professional ones so that's it guys a couple of ways to handle guests and their photos on the day of your wedding uh, and, and work with your professional photographer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, I would love if you just hit like below and do indeed share it with anyone you know who might be getting married or might be interested. If you're watching on Facebook, please here, uh, put a like below and share. If you're watching on YouTube, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to drop me an email. It should be coming up on screen now or visit my website, www.darrenford.ie and if you like what you see, the next step is to uh, check the availability of your date. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Darren Ford, see you next week.